30 years ago, my younger sister um, was in an abusive relationship and she was the classic abused wife. She blamed herself. She believed it when he said, I'm sorry. And I just remember that sense when I found out of helplessness because there was nothing out there for her. And so I walked for her. A lot of times I get asked, why should I walk? Why as a guy should I walk? And what I always say to them is that because if you, you know somebody personally that has been bullied and you've maybe met someone who has, or maybe it's, maybe it's your sister, or maybe it's your friend, or maybe it's your cousin, and for you to put on a pair of high heel shoes and walk a mile is actually the manliest thing you can do. And for you to do that, that's all the reason in the world you need. That's all the reason in the world you need. A high heel is nothing. If I look at the crowds since the first walk and I look at the participation of men and the people that actually come out to cheer on people, I think this is an event that has really taken hold. You know, we've done a great job of making it more fun every year and um, that's what it needs to be because it has to be festive. I mean, you're doing something incredibly silly. I mean, you've got 600 guys walking in heels. I mean, what could be more ridiculous? But you're not just being silly, you're being silly for a purpose, something that matters deeply to the community. To me, the high heel portion is really a non-factor at the event because to me, the event is really as a man standing up against abuse against rape. You know, the shoes are kind of the afterthought at that point. And I think as men, we have a pivotal role to play in saying, you know, domestic violence is everybody's problem. And the counseling doesn't just end with the women. It starts and ends with the men as well. And so why wouldn't we, as men, say, we're going to break this cycle of violence. We're going to help these people in me, and we're gonna do it in high heels and look fabulous. I think this is an awesome fundraiser that is uh, a wonderful way for the guys out in the community to get down here and to support women in violent environments. The good news is my sister finally told us she finally left him and she's fine now. But had she had a resource, had there been community education, she wouldn't have stayed as long. She wouldn't have endured the pain. So I really get the importance of a resource to help counsel people because we didn't know what to do. We didn't have a resource. We had no place to go. At the end of the day, you got some blisters on your feet. Your puppies are screaming. But with all of that, you know, how many times in our day-to-day -day lives do you get the opportunity to do something that is really changing someone else's life in a really positive way? And, you know, for one day a year, um, blisters seem like a small price to pay for that. Whether you walk or not, coming out and cheering people on is a great thing.